Before we start the tutorial, please don't forget that you can also buy this device completely assembled. We highly encourage you to purchase directly from thesimsema.com for faster shipping and lower prices. Okay guys, before we begin assembly, I want to talk a little bit about Volcor screens. They are quite amazing little screens. Uh, I've been working with these guys for a couple years now. Quality is number one for these guys. I mean, they'll test these screens at least two, three times before I get them. I also test them when I get them. Uh, so it's guaranteed that they'll work, but they are very sensitive pieces of electronics. So you got to be very careful. I want to show you a couple of things to understand so that this does not happen to you. This ribbon cable connects right here uh, with the use of this gate right here, and I'm gonna pop it open with my fingernail so you understand, it's a tiny little one millimeter gate, look at that. And that ribbon came straight out of there. So that's really, really sensitive. If that comes out, it goes together really well, but you have to be very, very careful. So yeah, you can get these back together, no problem. Make sure the gate is fully down, and sometimes you can tell in side view when the gate is or isn't closed perfectly. The other portion I wanna talk about is this ribbon cable. He can break on you in a couple spots. If you put too much pressure, it can disconnect somewhere in here or disconnect somewhere in here, which you'll never see. And if you break that, this will never work again. Then at these corners, these could break. So every time we bend them and you saw like they bend inside, please don't ever do what I'm doing here. If they ever bend inside your device, they could break. And I want to show to you, there you go, right? So. No worries, this screen was broken, it wasn't working. I just wanted to show to you how easily you can break this. And once you do that, you will be a very sad, sad customer. So please be very careful with these. Uh, they're amazing devices, but they are sensitive. So, all right, there we go. Now let's uh, move on to installation. Assembling one of these is a pretty simple affair. We need that Volcor screen, which hopefully you purchased. And then you need the kit from me, which is made up of the front, the rear, the bracket, of course, the USB cord, the decorative plug, and four of these M4 screws. Following these instructions verbatim is crucial to making sure that this assembles correctly. We have to place the front face down with the holes facing up away from you. This is down facing towards your body. That's how we know this is up because the two LEDs are actually at the top of the screen. We bring in our Volcor. Now, if you want to know a couple of details, you can see that the screen is offset. So you can see that, let's catch a little reflection. You can see a big border here, and sometimes, there's, sometimes, always, there's a small border there. So the screen is what I call offset. It's not dead center of the screen, and that's crucial of how it gets positioned. We will push the screen from this edge in, like this. Sometimes I go a little bit sideways. I make sure that it gets parked straight inside that cavity and if it doesn't go in, I snap it in right there. And you can see that both this end is perfectly in, but this is not in. And you can tell because it's st sticking out. So what we do is we push gently on it. Did you see not only did I push down, but I pushed in. There's just the tiniest amount of flex in this plastic. So now that it's in, this will be hanging out over the edge. As I've said before, these ribbon cables are very, very sensitive. But if we just fold this over and gently press on it, we can produce that little dent or that little bent over for the cable. With that done, we bring in our USB. We pull in just a little bit of it. We don't have to undo the whole USB just yet. And gently holding this PCB very, very tightly with both of your hands, we insert, grab from both sides and push until we hear a positive click. Then we know this has engaged. Again, very careful not to torque this cable. We make a definite bend in the cable right there. Now we put our decorative plug, which should slide all the way in until you can't push it any further. Sometimes it makes a little click, so that's how you know it's all the way at the bottom. Try to seat the cable in, in its position. Come in with the cap, and there you go. Capture it just like that. Yes, you can put a little bit of glue between the two pieces if you'd like, but it honestly makes no, no difference. All right, so now let's assemble the whole thing together. We know the two holes at on the front are at the top, and we talked about that. They're actually under here. The holes on the back are at the bottom, which is completely opposite. One thing to note, this post right here has to sit in this cavity somewhere. So sometimes the cable is too low, and this ends up sitting on top of the cable, and you can't close the box. So you see how I'm pushing it, and yeah, it's helping, but I can't hold it like that. So what I've learned is to take this as a guide. I know my post is right here, and I can just put it a little bit lower and just it's sitting on top of the box and I kind of push this way and I know, there you go, right there, that it actually pushed the cable against the wall and two snaps and we are in. And of course, 
pretty simple from here one screw two screw I recommend doing this by hand there's no reason to do any of this with a uh, power tool because you'll just break the stuff so yep tighten these boys down and you are good to go enjoy given the provided screws and an M4 Allen key perfect not too tight it doesn't really matter it's gonna hold together and there it is done and done all right now the last part is how to mount this to your rig so uh, you know we do provide this solution you can come up with your own solution but the bracket that we make you can see has multiple holes to make it height adjustable so you can put it anywhere on your rig remember that this bracket can also be turned sideways uh, you know so if you want to hook it up sideways onto something or if you want to position it this way and bolt it down into your rig using this hole down here that is also possible there's a couple holes everywhere so you can bolt it in many 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 spots all right guys good luck